Hello, this is Colin Greatwood, Applications Engineer for LMI Technologies. Today I'll be showing you how to use a multi-exposure scan setup to properly image an IC with various types of materials and finishes on one relatively level surface. So first thing, I'll take a scan with the default single exposure with 30 microseconds set. All right, so with a single exposure at 30 microseconds, you can see that we've got three different features here. We have some metallic looking pads for the connector's pins, some lettering and labels, and then the background of the IC. The pads and the letters are both going to be returned back to the sensor's imaging chip a little bit brighter than the background as the pads are metallic and the lettering is all white and a little bit glossy. The background is black but glossy as well so that should return less light since they're all relatively at the same height with respect to the gocator. So I'm going to change over to a multi-exposure system and we're going to try and target with our first exposure the pads and the letters to see if we can image those properly as we would expect those to come into full image first and at a lower exposure setting. So here's our image with one exposure optimized for the pads and the lettering. If we zoom in you can see that the pads are pretty close to fully imaged and that the letters come through pretty cleanly. We'll increase that just a little bit to fully image all of the pads as we've missed just a little bit of data. The pads are filling in almost 100% and the letters are as well. You can see that the background is still missing quite a bit of data so we'll add a second exposure and that second exposure is going to target fully imaging the background. And there you have it. The background fills in almost entirely with a few dropouts here and there. A third exposure could be considered necessary depending on what you were trying to do with your scan but this example shows how to use two exposures to target materials of different finish.